Hello. This is a prototype for a shell catching bag for the internal magazine pump action shotgun, which currently has no official name. Uh, this is essentially a uh, big white printed bracket uh, with some little thingies that go over the Picatinny rail, uh, which kind of holds over the ejection port on the side of the blaster, this whole cavernous area over here. Uh, that catches the shells as they are ejected out of the blaster. Now, I've had this installed on the previous prototype of the blaster, um, but I have not installed this on this blue uh, blaster prototype. Uh, this is still the V1 of the shell catching bag piece, um, and I do need to make an improvement to this where the kind of printed thing that holds the bag both needs to hold the bag better right now it kind of can slip off um just needs to have like a wider hook groove for the string of the bag to go around um and then it also needs to go deeper into the bag and have like a little bit of a downspout because right now if you have like a ton of shells in the bag it kind of holds down like this which means that shells can't be ejected into this area they just kind of bounce back into the breech so once you've got a few in there, it kind of doesn't like to cooperate, but as long as it's, you know, mostly empty, uh, they all go in there pretty nicely in my testing. So, let's install this onto the blaster. Uh, it goes on this side, of course. Uh, this has heat set inserts that the mounting screws go into, so it can be installed and removed from the blaster as you wish. Uh, so it looks something like that. Uh, let's put in the screws. Make sure that I have it lined up with the correct notch that I do. It has this little shape here to match the uh, loading port of the blaster. So once that's in place, uh, let's put in this guy here. Fits in like that. Just like that. Got a screwdriver here. Uh, this just uses M3 screws into those heat set inserts just to hold it all in place. And my apologies that this isn't the um, easiest thing in the world to see on video, uh, but because there's this giant bag in the way. Uh, we've got the first bracket on, the second one has two screws, just to be a bit more stable. Now, another thing that I'm planning on doing in the next version of this is something that real steel uh, shell catching bags do as well. And I'm going to add a, um, basically a folding hinge that separates the bit that attaches the bag to the blaster and the bit that holds the bag. So that way you can open it up, kind of open it up like a door and dump all the shells out of the bag without having to take the bag off the blaster or trying to pour them out of the loading port on the blaster, this, this hole up here. And that is a thing that a person named Mighty Shrub did on their shell catching bag for the uh, Colonel Wasp Firefly blaster. Uh, aftermarket thing, um, which I think is a good idea. So I'm going to do it on this one after I get this one kind of situated. So that would just be a door here, just kind of open like that, and you can pour the stuff out of the shell, or out of the bag. Shells out of the bag, words. So this is what it looks like. Got a big old bag on it right now. Um, it fits pretty much any drawstring bag. So it's got these kind of strings up here. Uh, and then this port here is left open for loading, and then you just got your shells down there in the bag that kind of hold the empties. Uh, so let's see if I can get this shown well on video. Got the prime. You can still load the blaster very easily. easier if I wasn't holding it in, in the way that I need to show you on video, but, you know, it's easy if you're 
holding it the correct way. Oh, it's full. So, first test of this on this blaster, on this uh, prototype. But see, if I hold it for you where you can see it on video, then it's making it really hard for the shell to actually make it into the bag. Um, you know what, let's, let's hold it like this. So you can kind of see it. Let me rest the stock on my desk. There we go. So I'm going to extract the shell, and then it dropped it into the bag. Here is the shell. So there's that. shells out of my big old box of shells. Let's load these ones correctly. Yep, that's all full. So at a firing position, this would be like this, and you can I think that you can see in there that the bag is kind of blocking the port itself uh, from fully being there because I don't have that sort of scoop that I was talking about needing on the print. So that would kind of hold the bag up like that to give it a area for the shells to actually go into. But let's see if this works anyway. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. And if I tilt it over, it goes into the bag. So let's, let's hold this like this, I guess. Lots of shells in the bag. So one more time, last one. Like that, and then eject into the bag. Lots of shells in that bag. And then on this prototype, you do need to take the bag off of the thing in order to empty it. Um, or you can empty it out of this port. I guess I'll do that. Um, but in the next one, there will be that kind of folding door. So you'll be able to open it with like a little, little closing latch back here. So you open it up, it'll fold out. This will kind of fold like that. Then you can just empty this out like that. Get them all out of the bag. So let's uh, empty this into my big old bit of shells. testing this prototype anyway. Proof of concept has been proofed. It has been concepted. So there's the thing I was talking about. This sort of ledge here that holds the bag. I need to make that quite a bit bigger uh, so you can kind of secure the bag 
better in there. Uh, probably add like a zip tie in there or something like that to really hold it on there more permanently. And then this flange here will be hinged in this area so it can open up. There'll be a little latch back here that you can just like flip to lock it in place. So you'll open that up and then pour all the shells out that direction as opposed to trying to fit them through this port or having to take off the bag completely. For that. There is the shells. One more. That's all of them. That's all of them. So that is that uh, prototype of the uh, shell ejection catching bag. Yeah.